F are the midpoints of side BC, CA, AB respectively. Prove that AD vector plus B vector plus CF vector equals to zero. Solution. You see here, the triangle ABC, D, E, and the F are the midpoint of side BC, AC, or CA, and AV respectively. Means, it's clear in the question, it's given that these points are the midpoint, it means that we need to apply midpoint formula, or midpoint theorem. Solution. In triangle a, B, C using using midpoint formula or theorem A, D vector is equals to half A, D vector means half the sum of AV vector and AC vector according to what? The midpoint formula AC vector. Similarly, in same triangle AVC using midpoint formula BE will be half BE vector is half of BA vector plus BC vector is half of Already in the first case, the uh, the direction is determined as AV. As in second, we'll get BA. BA does not exist. Then we can write minus AB. BA means the negative of AV vector. BC. We arrange it. What we'll get? BC vector minus AV vector. Similarly, we find we'll find CF. In question is given CF. Then we'll find CF vector using midpoint formula half means cb it is cb vector plus ca vector but already the direction of uh, direction of the vector is determined then the c here cb cb vector does not exist it's negative of bc vector similarly ca vector does not exist it's the negative of ac vector minus ac vector suppose it as Equation 1, Equation 2, and suppose this one as Equation 1, Equation 2, and this one as Equation 3. Now what we do is that, now, adding Equation 1, 2, and 3, we get AD vector plus BE vector plus CF vector is equals to half of AV vector plus AC vector plus half of BC vector minus AV vector plus half of minus BC minus AC vector is equals to C. Half is common. This three term, what is left in first term? AV plus AC in second term. VC vector minus AV vector minus BC vector minus AC vector. Now see this AC, AV vector, A vector is cancelled. Opposite direction, AC, AC, BC, BC. What will get? Zero. Therefore, AD vector plus BE vector plus CF vector equals to